train up a child in the way that they should go. Amen. When they get old, they want to run from. Amen. I tell you all, amen. That is a 
respect for a young man. Right. Yeah. Amen. He knows right from wrong. Yeah. Amen. He knows when to and when not to. Amen. <laughs> amen. Sometimes, amen, he, amen, he'll, amen, get kind of, amen, bold at the barber shop. And, amen. Brother Arthur, tell him, I'm going to call your mom. <laughs> amen. Amen. He said, like, Daddy, no, don't call mom. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's all he got to say is, I'm going to call your mom. Amen. And he don't want him to call mom. Amen. Because he know grandma will come get him. Amen. Amen. So we we thank God, amen, for, for them today. Amen. I love this family. Amen. I love this family. Amen. amen. I've, I've, I've grown to, to know all of them, and I appreciate the love that they have for one another. Amen. I, I see his brothers, amen, they come in and out the barbershop and amen, they always, amen, greet each other, amen, with a handshake or a hug, amen. Amen. That's beautiful. Amen. Amen. That's beautiful, amen. To to see the love, the brotherly love that they share, amen, from one another. Amen. Amen. And that's just a uh, honor. Amen to their upbringing. Amen. Yeah. Thank God, amen, for their mother. Amen. 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 Thank God, amen, amen, for their mother, amen, amen. For raising them boys up the right way. Amen. amen. Raising them boys up, amen, the right way. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. She's right. such a lovely lady. Amen. Amen as well. And amen. I tell y'all, amen. She can cook some cakes. <laughs> amen. Amen. That lady knows she can cook some cakes. Amen. She, she cooked me one, amen, about a week ago, I guess. And, amen. I was in the barber shop, amen, uh, Friday, amen, getting my hair cut. And all of a sudden, he says, how, how, How's that cake? I said, Gone. <laughs> <laughs> amen. 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 Big old sheet cake, amen, but it's gone. Amen. Amen. So I, I thank God, amen. Amen for her. Thank God for my wife. Amen. 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 With me. Amen. Today. Truly, she is. Amen. A great support. Amen. Amen. To me. Amen. 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 She's such a, a helpful person. And amen. Sometimes, amen, without her, I don't know what I would do. Amen. 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 Because she keeps me. Amen. She keeps the things. When I can't find something, amen, all I got to do is ask my wife for a second. Amen. amen. She'll have a better idea of what it's at. Sometimes, amen, it's, it's my stuff that I should keep up with. Amen. amen. Yesterday, amen. we were getting ready, had to do a wedding, and I asked my wife, I said, baby, have you seen my man? Amen. And she said, no, it's probably out there in the car somewhere. Amen. And on my way out the door, amen, I looked, amen, out there in the car, and there it was. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Amen. amen. So I thank God, amen, for her. Thank God for my knowledge. Amen. For coming along, amen, to be with your pastor, amen, on today. Amen. amen. It's always good, amen, to have the folks that don't mind following and supporting their pastor. Amen. amen. I know, amen, y'all didn't, amen, come to hear all of that, amen, but now that we got all of that out of the way, yes. amen, those of you that have your Bible, if you would go with me to the book of Second Kings. Second Kings, the fourth chapter. Second Kings, the fourth chapter. And we're going to deal with verses number one and two. And then we're going to skip over to verse number seven. Amen. First Kings, the fourth chapter. Verses 1 and 2, and then we're going to skip over to verse number 7. Amen. When you have found it, amen, you will find words similar to these. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets of Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor has come to take unto him my two sons to be born with. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything 
in the house, save a pot of oil. Verse number seven says, Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt, and live thou and thy children on the rest. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. And for a little while, amen, if I could, I want to go back to uh, uh, verse number two, when it says, Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what have thou in the house? And she said, Thine handmaid have not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. And I want to talk, amen, just for a little while on today on this church anniversary. I want to talk from the subject, when you're down to nothing. Well, yeah. Amen. When you're down to nothing. Amen. Thank you, Russia. Amen. There's no doubt that the word nothing or no thing has a negative ring to it. When, when, when somebody says, I, I have nothing, the first thought that goes through our minds are empty, uh, uh, are poor, or valueless. Amen. And sometimes, amen, people even seem to think that you're low class because you have nothing. Amen. The definition of nothing says not anything. Something that does not exist. And, 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 and we may have a little trouble defining it, but but, but we all know what nothing is. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Nothing is an emptiness or a void. Yeah. Amen. But I stopped by on my way to heaven today to let yeah. you know that sometimes we as Christians and, and children of God, we got to realize that when we're down to nothing, God is up to something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We got to realize, amen, that, 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 that although that nothing is nothing, yeah. we got to realize that we serve a God that took nothing and made something out of it. Yeah. Amen. We got to realize the reach of a God that stepped out of the midst of nowhere, reached out into the midst of nowhere, took nothing and created the world. Amen. God said, let there be in that world. Amen. But when we look at it and we read our Bible, we find that when God said, let there be, God had nothing to work with. God just simply said, let there be light. And there was light. Amen. So we got to understand that children of God, that we are heirs to the throne of God. Yeah. Amen. And everything that our Father has is ours. Yeah. Amen. So if God has light, if He is the creator of light, although we live in a dark world sometimes, we have to realize that when we're down to nothing, yeah. God is up to something. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we also know that nothing is good for nothing. Yeah. You can't do something with nothing. Mm -hmm. You can't take, you can't make something out of nothing. Uh, yeah. Amen. But those of those of those of you, amen, that cook, amen, you know that you can't cook something if you ain't got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know you gotta have something yeah. to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You 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 can make a meal, but you gotta have something. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You 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 can make a a, a, a a good party, a good pan of bread, but but in order to make a good pan of bread, you gotta have something. Yeah. Hey man, you can't just go in there and have a pan and say, I need some bread, but you gotta have something to go in that pan. Yeah. Hey man, you might not have, you might not always have exactly all the flour that you need, but you gotta have something. Yeah. You might not have all the milk that you need, but you gotta have something. Yeah. Hey man, because if you got something, you can make something happen. Yeah. But if you got nothing, you realize that you can do nothing with nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing is hopeless. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is our concept. And this is our definition and understanding of nothing. Yeah. But can I tell y'all, amen, that God doesn't see nothing like we see nothing. Yeah. Well, in right. fact, in fact, in fact, nothing in the hands of God right. is exactly opposite what it is that I did. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When we put nothing in God's hand, yeah. God can make something out of it. Yeah. Amen. So God nothing. All nothing is for God is raw material for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All nothing is for God. Y'all hear what I say? Yeah. It's raw material for everything. Everything. So in other words, God can take nothing and make everything. Yeah. Not that, Pastor God, but God can take nothing and make anything. Yeah. yeah. Anything that God wants to do, uh, He can take nothing and do it. Yeah. 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 Amen. 
so God don't see nothing. Yeah. 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 Like we see nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God stood on nothing. Yeah. He spoke to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And said, let there be. Yeah. Yeah. And from nothing spring everything. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says yeah. that in the beginning, God created the heavens and in the, the earth. earth. And the earth was what? Without form of form. Yeah. So in other words, God yeah. took nothing. Yeah. 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 Amen. God took nothing. Yeah. Because once again, nothing in the hands of God is just raw material. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we may be looking at our situation and we see nothing. Amen. And we're looking at God to God. God says, give me what you got. Amen. And God says, give me what you got. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You say, God, I don't have nothing, God. God says, give me nothing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Give me the When she says, take me to the king. Yes. She says, I don't have much to bring. Yes. Says, take me to the king. Yes. And he said, here is my offering. Uh-huh. Says, I don't have nothing left, but just take me to the king. Yes. Yes. Amen. Take me yes. to the king. Yes. Amen. It, 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 it was nothing. Amen. It was nothing. When God created the heavens and the earth, he did it from nothing. Yeah. But God took nothing in his hands. Uh-huh. Amen. And flung it into the stars and into their places. Yeah. Amen. He, he spoke to nothing and the yeah. world sprung into existence. He spoke again and the mountains arose. Yeah. Amen. Seas gathered. Yeah. Amen. And all life began. Yeah. And when he speaks to storms, amen, that they come. Yeah. Amen. Diseases will go away. Yeah. Amen. Demons will flee. Yeah. Amen. Souls are transformed. Yeah. Amen. God doesn't need chemotherapy to kill cancer. All God got to do is say, be not here. And God don't need no surgery yeah. to give you no new heart. Yeah. Amen. This morning, amen, the Sunday school lesson was talking about a spirit filled heart. Amen. God don't have to do surgery on you to fill your heart with the spirit. Yeah. Amen. All God got to do is say, do it. Amen. All God got to do is speak it and it shall be done. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. God can do anything. Yeah. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yeah. yeah. And then, in fact, God can reach into nothing and grasp a door. Amen. Can grasp a door handle that does not even exist. Amen. Swing it open a door that is not even there. Yeah. And He can make a way that's not even there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then somebody know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I've been in a situation in my life. Yeah. But God made a way out of the door. Yeah. I didn't even see a way yet, but all I did was took what I had. A man back to life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. He, 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 he took five loaves and two fish and fed over 5,000. Uh-huh. Amen. He turned water into wine. Yeah. Amen. Last yesterday, we was, once again, we was at a wedding and they, they ran out of pumps. Yeah. Amen. And I said, well, guys, I need to call Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I need to call Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And tell Jesus, they've been down and ran out of drink. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Because he can make it happen. Yeah. Amen. But that's, 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 that's how we understand. We need to understand, amen, that, that when we're down to nothing, God's up to something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Now we got to realize that in our life, God needs to reduce us to nothing. Yeah. yeah.
situation. How do you know God can deliver you? Amen. If you've never been sick in your body, how do you know God can heal you? If you've never been down to nothing, how do you know that God was up to something? And then sometimes God has allowed us to have nothing so that God can show you I am God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God told the Israelites, He says, I'm not doing this for your sake. Amen. He says, but for my holy name. Uh-huh. And sometimes God has to allow us to go down from yeah. nothing to nothing yeah. so that He can do it for His name's sake. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. Oh, y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. Yeah. Amen. If we got a big bank account. Yeah. Amen. We think our bank account is doing everything. Yeah. 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 Amen. We think that, amen, because we got money. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That everything ain't going to go our way. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's why God allows sometimes this money to go away. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes God will make that bank account yeah. go down to nothing. Yeah. Amen. So that you realize that all that I have to lean on now is nothing but God. Yeah. So when I went to the bank, yeah. amen, there was nothing yeah. in that account. Yeah. Oh, Believe he can. Yeah. Yeah. And for this children, believe he can. Yeah. And in other words, God says, all you got to do is believe in him. Yeah. That's right. That's all right. That's right. Him, yeah. All you got to do is believe. Yeah. Amen. And the Bible tells me that my God can do everything. Right. Everything. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. All you got to do is believe in me. Yeah. Amen. Parents. All right. Amen. You know for yourself. Amen. Children. When they believe in parents, that motivates the parents to go to the extra mile. That's yeah. right. Because the parents don't want to let their child down. That's yeah. right. Sometimes that's why the parents make the sacrifices that they make. Yeah. Because their children are believing yeah. that they're going to do it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. I mean, they're believing, they man, that, that this thing that I want, mama going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're believing, they man, this, this thing <laughs> that I need, that daddy going to back away from me. Yeah. I know that all I got to do, yeah. if I can just ask daddy, amen, yeah. if I can ask mama, amen, they going to make it happen. Amen. Yeah. And when you believe, amen. Uh-huh. Amen. When you find out they're believing yeah. in you and relying on you, yeah. amen. You have to do what you got to do to make uh-huh. it happen. That's amen. right. That's how God is. Yeah. Because we, as God's children, are believing in Him. God says, "I got to do it." No, amen. Yeah. Because my children are believing in me. Yeah. My children are relying on me. Yeah. Amen. I can't let them down. I gotta make a way out of no way. Yeah. I gotta heal them now. I gotta deliver them now. Yeah. The Bible says that uh, faith without works is dead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's no sense in believing yeah. in God. Uh-huh. Amen. And not working. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In other words, you gotta do something. Yeah. 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 Amen. You gotta do something. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You ought to have, we ought to have so much faith in God that if we believe in God for rain. Hey man, I don't care if it's 95 degrees outside, we ought to have our umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we ought to have our umbrella. Yeah. Hey man, folks looking at you, hey man, why you got that umbrella, hey man? Because I believe it's going to rain. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I believe it's going to rain? Because God said it's going to rain. Yeah. And I'm not necessarily talking about just raining water, but sometimes I need God to rain in my life. Yeah. Hey sometimes I need God to open up the windows of heaven and God let it rain, let it rain. Yeah. Yeah. And say, Lord, fill my cup, amen. And when I ask God to fill my cup, I got to make sure that I have a cup big enough for God to fill. That's right, that's right. Thank you, Jesus. God can take nothing. And make something up. Yes, he can. Amen. Amen. You think you have a problem, 
Amen. And nothing can be done about it. Mm -hmm. You must don't know Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because there's no problem that my God can't solve. Yeah. Amen. You, 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 you think you've gone too far and, and nothing can help you now. You must don't know Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because I serve a God that can pick you up. Yeah. Turn you around. Yeah. Place your feet on solid ground. Yeah. 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 Amen. Even when others say that you're nothing. All right. yeah. Amen. I look at my life. Amen. Yeah. the cloud here. Amen. And I look back from what God brought me from. Yeah. Amen. When I was in the streets. Yeah. Amen. Doing everything but the right thing. Yeah. Amen. In and out of the court system. Yeah. Amen. And the judge said I wasn't going to be nothing yeah. but a minute to society. Yeah. And God says I can take nothing and make something out of it. Amen. So God reached out. That's right. Amen. Amen. Nothing is impossible. Yeah. Amen. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah even said it. Amen. In Jeremiah 32 and 17, Jeremiah said, Oh Lord God, behold, thou have made the heaven and the earth. Yeah. 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 He says, By thy great power and stretched out arms, he said, and There is nothing too hard for thee. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Y'all understand? Y'all remember when Jesus' disciples had fished all night? Mm -hmm. Amen. They tried. Mm -hmm. But circumstances conspired against him. Hey Amen. I can just see him having a conversation with Jesus, and they told Jesus, they said, Jesus, we done fished all night. Say, we 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 weren't out here playing around. We, we wasn't out here wasting time, but but we were fishing. We fished all night and we fished hard, but caught nothing. Yeah. The Bible says they had caught nothing. Hey Amen. They they, they 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 had boatloads of nothing. Yeah. Amen. Their eye chests were full of nothing. Yeah. yeah. Their nets were full of nothing. Yeah. Amen. I, I know somebody that's been in that situation where you where you felt like, hey Amen, that, that all I have is a bunch of nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I, I don't have nothing, yeah. amen. Sometimes some of us have, 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 have been driving in our cars, amen. And y'all know we have we instead of that e mean and empty, amen. Those of us sometimes that, that have faith in God, amen, that E have turned to enough, amen. It don't mean that it's empty. Yeah. Amen. Because I got faith that I got enough gas yeah. to get where I need to be. Amen. I got enough faith to believe that when God all things are possible. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, praise your holy name. They have rolled a man on me. They have rolled on me for two or three days. Amen. Amen. You didn't know how. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
nothing. Yeah, yeah, but you say, God, I, I'm giving this nothing to you. Because if I put nothing in your hands, I know you can make something out of it. That's right. Yeah. Hey Amen. If you look at it, just thinking, why would this man of God mm, no, yeah. tell this woman no, yeah. to go out and borrow all these vessels? Yeah. When she done told him all that she had, mm-hmm. it's just a little bit of all. Oh, hey yeah. Amen. Why would she tell him to go? Why would she tell him? this man of God? Hey Amen. Hey Amen. That's why you know sometimes people. Hey man, they come past the cloud to the pastors and, and they ask for advice, but sometimes they don't understand the advice that you give. Them. Yeah. Amen. Hey man, because they don't realize, hey man, that, that sometimes, hey man, all we're doing is, is stepping out on the word of God. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, all we're doing is believing that, that God gonna do what he said he was gonna do. Yeah. Hey man, that's Peter was when Peter was Peter was out there on the one that was on the boat, hey man, and, and they looked up and they thought what they saw what they thought was a ghost, hey man. Hey man, and then when Peter realized it as being Jesus. Jesus, amen. Peter said, Lord, if it be you, bid me to come to you. Amen. And the Bible says Jesus told Peter to come, amen. Peter stepped out of the boat on nothing but the word of God. Yeah. Peter had to step out on the word of God. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Amen. And the Bible says that while Peter was walking on the word. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Somebody said he was walking on the water. And I said he was walking on the word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the word of God said, come. Yeah. Man, because as long as Peter was walking on the word yeah. and keeping his eyes on God, he was able to keep the water under. Yeah. But when Peter took his eyes off God and started focusing on what the water was doing, that's what he began to see. Yeah. That's how we are in our life sometimes. When we take our eyes off God, yeah. we start focusing on the nothing that we have. Yeah. The devil will always remind you of the nothing that you have. That's yeah. right. The devil will always remind you of the negative. Yeah. The devil will always 
make you think they don't like you. Yeah. They don't want you around. The devil will make you think they don't want you to sing. Yeah. Amen. They don't want you to to preach. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes as pastors, amen, the devil will even make you think. Don't yeah. nobody want to hear you preach. Yeah. But can I tell you, amen, that when you're down to nothing, yeah. God is up to something. Yeah. God is up to something. Oh, thank you, God. Amen. This woman, the man of God told him, he said, don't just borrow a few. He said, but borrow as many as you can. Yeah. yeah. He says, borrow a whole bunch of yeah. Amen. And when she done what the man of God said, when you look over, amen, at verse number seven, amen, when you look over at verse number seven, amen, verse number seven says, his instructions was after she done that. He says, then she came and told the man of God, and he says, go sell the oil and pay thy debt. And live thou and thy children on the rest. Yeah. 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 See, you thought you had nothing but a little. Yeah. 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 But God made that little into enough to pay your debt and you yeah. still got something to live on. Hallelujah! You still got something to live on. Thank you, God! That reminds me of the other woman, amen. With, with the widow woman, amen. When she, when she, when she yeah. met the prophet at the well, and, and then he asked her, he says, What are you doing, amen? amen. And she says, I'm here to. to Water, amen. And, and then I'm going to go eat the cake and, and me and my son, we're going to eat it and die. Amen. Amen. The man of God says, go ahead. Fetch you some water. Make, go make me a cake. Go make me a cake. He says, but make me one first. This man of God, how greedy is he? Yeah. <laughs> this woman that told him all she got is enough to make a cake for her and her son. Amen. And here he is talking about make me a cake first. Amen. Amen. Always. Preachers always want to be first. Yeah. Always thinking about themselves. Yeah. Amen. Preachers always think they got to eat first. Yeah. Amen. They got to get the best piece of chicken. Yeah. Amen. Now this man of God yeah. telling this widow woman yeah. make me a cake first. Yeah. He didn't say make me one too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't say if you have enough left over, uh, make me one too. Yeah. He said take what you got and make me one first. Yeah. The Bible says she did just that. Yeah. And the Bible also says that her barrel never ran empty. Yeah. In other words, every time for the cloud that she went to that barrel, it was something in there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The Bible didn't say that the barrel was always full, but it was always. In that world. Yeah. Every time she got ready to prepare a meal, there was something in there. Right. Every time she got ready to cook the cake, yeah. there was something in there. What are you saying, Pastor? If you take nothing and put it in the right hand, God will make something out of nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, God. In my hand. In my hand, nothing is nothing. Yeah. But in God's hand, nothing. Yeah. To fix my situation. Yeah. Thank you, God. It's all material that God needs to fix my situation. Yeah. As I get ready to go to my seat, Thank you. reminded of an old fairy tale as a child, you you learned from the dump. <laughs> Fairy tale says Humpty Dumpty is still on the wall. Yeah. Uh, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Yeah. Yeah. All the king horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Yeah. But you know, Pastor Cloud, when I got older and I thought about it, yeah. a few things came to my mind. Hey man, the first thing that came to my mind, y'all know Humpty Dumpty was an egg. The first thing I couldn't understand was why was Humpty Dumpty of the egg to even sit on the wall in the first place? To fall off. But sometimes we do stuff that we don't have no business doing and we fall. But the story, the fairy tells us that all the 
king horses and all the king's oh, men yeah. couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. But when you look at it, they never took Humpty Dumpty to the king. Hey, Amen. They took him to the king horses and the king's men. But if they took him to the king, he could do nothing. Yeah. Nothing out of it. That's why if I fall down, take me to the king. Hey, Amen. If I need to get back together, take me to the king. If I'm down to nothing, if I don't have nothing to bring, take it to the king. If I was out of water, take it to the king. Because the king is saying nothing. I love it. It makes something out of it. A hundred and fifty years, Mama Rock. That's a long time. I'm pretty sure it knows hundred and fifty some years. Yeah. <laughs> but look what God has done. Yeah. Hey Amen. I was listening to the sister when she was reading the church history. Hey Amen. She was talking about how the church burned. Hey Amen. You was probably thinking when the church burned, hey Amen. They were probably thinking we don't have nothing. Hey Amen. But look what God did. God took that nothing and made something out of it. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. She even said we don't have a Many of the members now, it's just a few of them. But look what God is doing with the few. Yeah. God can take a little and do a lot. Hallelujah. He can take the When God is down to nothing. When you're down to nothing, God is up to something. Let me let you know. I'm going to my seat. God has blessed you with a great leader. God has blessed you with a man of the gods of God. Amen. He's always speaking about the goodness of God. That's one of the reasons. That's what turned me on. Amen. To go into his barbershop. Amen. Because he has moved with his barbershop. Yeah. Amen. You just can't go in his barbershop talking any kind of way. Yeah. Amen. You gotta have respect when you come in his barbershop. Yeah. Amen. All of that cursing and carrying on, you're not gonna find that happening in his barbershop. Yeah. Because he'll show you what to do. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's why. That's why I love it. Because of the stance that he's taking with God. And even through his trials and tribulations, he held on to God's unchanging hand. He never let go of God's unchanging hand. Plenty of times in his life, he probably thought that he was down to nothing. But God took nothing. He made something out of it. And that's not all. If he did it for him, he can do it for you. He can do it for you. If he took you from nothing, and made something. If he took me from nothing, and made something. And he can take you from nothing. He can take your nothing of a situation. He can take something out of it. He can take your nothing, your trials or tribulations that you feel have left you with nothing. And God can make something out of it. Lord, you gotta do it. Thank you, God. 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 The doors of the church. There's somebody in this house on today that you feel like you're down to nothing. You feel like that. The hand that you have been dealt with has left you with nothing. I challenge you today to bring that nothing to Jesus. Bring that nothing and leave it on the altar. There's somebody, there's somebody that, that the world has told you that that situation that you're dealing with, hey amen, it's going to amount to nothing. But I challenge you on today. Bring that nothing.
nothing to Jesus. Bring that nothing to Jesus and put it on the altar. I'm not asking you to put it in my hands because in my hands all I can do is pray about it. But if you put it in the hands of God, God can take nothing and do something with me. Will there be another one today? Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
you, Lord, the nothing I have, oh, you, Lord, I give unto you. Thank you. Lord, fill my cup. Thank Thank you. Let it overflow. Oh, Lord, 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 Thank you, God. 
shout out that play. Right? Somebody ought to be saying thank you, Jesus. Right? Somebody ought to be saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Yeah. And I know you're going to bless somebody in your yeah. pay also. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's just hard to deny you're going to put stuff like that without me talking my feet. Without me clapping my hands. Yeah. Without me saying, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Nothing, I heard somebody saying one time, I said, Nothing but nothing leaves nothing. <laughs> Can't nobody get nothing out of nothing but God. Yeah. Nothing out of nothing but God. Yeah. He can take that nothing yeah. and make it something. Yeah. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, we serve a God that's able. Yeah. We serve a God that's all thank Yeah. That's all power. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to I go back to this. I want to thank God for my love. Yeah. Amen. I said, Jesus got up and acknowledged my mother, you know. <laughs> He, he was a God in her for, for, you know, the nice and loving how he raised, she raised her son and the king that she could. But I have so much other stuff that I can acknowledge my mother's stuff. Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank you, mother. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you yeah. For being the mother that you be. Yeah. Woo, thank you, Lord. Yeah. I know when we were in our stuff, y'all, we tried to get our mother to come with us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we want her with us. We, we want her to be crook or crook too. My <laughs> mother just went to bed. Yes, Lord. I just, I just thank God. My mother just love and respect. I want to thank God for Sister Reese too. Get yeah, back with me. God, I just thank God. Give her a hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I am so glad to see you. Sir. So glad to see you. And thank God uh, for all of you. And Brother Barrett, good to see you, brother. Thank God for you. And to all of you, my Island Baptist Church, would you like to have a word? Okay, go ahead. All praises to God, who's the head of my life. I truly enjoy the service today. Yes. I apologize for being late, but uh, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I wanted to let you know that I will be putting this on YouTube um, under Mount Mariah 152nd Church Anniversary 2017. Amen. And so you can look for that Praise by God. next Saturday. I'll Praise have it on there. Okay. You have a time in the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You are Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Okay. That being all, do we have any announcement? Sunday at 11 a.m. and on the second and fourth Sunday we have midday service at um, at noon. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So with that being all, we're going to ask Brother uh, Reverend Johnson to come back, and I want to thank uh, uh, Brother Robert uh, Bell for coming and giving us that number. Uh, I ask Brother Robert to come out and sing the song. And, and uh, he was ready to do that. And I want to thank you, uh, Brother Rob. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And that being all, we're going to ask uh, Rev. Jones to come back and dismiss us and bless the food. Amen. Amen. Once again, amen, Pastor Cloud, thank you, amen, for the invitation. 
Amen. Mama Mariah, thank you for your hospitality. Amen. I have enjoyed myself on today. I enjoy myself. I love working for Jesus. Amen. And I don't take it lightly, amen. When God grants me the opportunity to go and declare his word. Amen. So thank you all, amen, for amen, uh, uh, just being here with us, amen, on today. And just remember. When you're down and up, God's up. Amen. 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 That's Amen. good news. That's good news. <laughs> yeah. Amen. You know what, Amen? You need to learn how to tell the brother, Amen. I may be down, but I'm not out. Right. Yeah. Amen. You might have me down now, but I'm not out. Amen. You see, the Bible, the Bible teaches us that the devil had Job down. Yeah. Uh, Amen. But Job would not. Yeah. Amen. Because the Bible says in Job's latter days, God blessed him with more than he had in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So sometimes when you're down to nothing, yeah. Amen. God will give you double for your trouble. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God will give you double. Amen. For the nothing that you had, yeah. He'll give you double for your trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So thank you, Amen. Thank and, you, Jesus. Amen. To this man right now, I was, I was Pastor Glad, I was preaching, Amen. I was. I was watching it, amen, and, 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 and he was very attentive. Yes. Amen. He was oh, yes. very attentive to everything, oh, yes. amen, that the preacher was saying, amen. Yes, sir. And, and, and God just dropped him in the spirit. Yes, sir. Amen. God wants to give you something. Yes. God wants to give you something. Hallelujah. God has come to God has a blessing with your name on it. It is yours. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But once again, Mama Ryan, y'all continue to love and support your pastor and your first lady. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I hear good things, amen, about, amen, uh, Sister Cloudy, amen, and the Sunday school teacher, amen, that she is, amen, how she expounds on the lesson. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And so I want to encourage her to keep doing what God said to do. Amen. Amen. Keep doing what God said to do. Because God has a blessing with your name on it. And God has to just keep on teaching the way God say teach. Amen. Y'all just keep on supporting the pastor. You have a you have a great pastor. Amen. You have a great pastor that's, that that loves God. Amen. And don't mind letting nobody else know that he loves God. Amen. Thank God once again for his love. Amen. And as we are, I know we're getting ready to stand, but. Amen. Thank God, amen, for his brother. Amen. amen. I said to you, we were talking about a, the Sunday school lesson was, and we're standing. Uh, this morning was talking about the Spirit of your Lord. Yeah. Amen. And, and I was, Pastor Cloud, his brother had a garage sale one time. Amen. I, I went by to pick up a cake. This ain't the same cake, this is the new cake. Amen. I had went by to pick up a cake. Amen. And she had a lot of stuff in the garage and she told me she said, I'm getting ready for a garage sale. Amen. I went out there and she had all this nice stuff out there. Amen. You 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 wouldn't even think it'd be in a garage sale, but she had it out there in the garage sale. Amen. And, and, and I, I called, I told my wife, amen, about some nice dresses and stuff she had. And my wife went over and, and, and looked at some of her stuff and bought some dresses for me. And she came back and she said, She said, baby, she said, that woman is just so pretty. <laughs> amen. She said, She just let me go on in her house. And, amen. Amen. I was all in the back, amen, checking the clothes. And, amen. She wasn't even in there watching me. <laughs> I said because that's a spiritual woman. Amen. Amen. She know God got her. Amen. Amen. She know God gonna take care of her. Amen. Amen. She not worried about the enemy taking nothing away from her. Right. Because God gonna protect her. Yeah. Amen. So I just want to say to her, Amen. Keep doing what God Amen. says to you. Amen. Amen. Keep on doing what God says to you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, for today. Lord. Whatever eyes have seen, our ears have heard. God, we thank you, God, for the visitation of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for showing up on today, God, and giving us a word of God, reminding us that even when we're down the tuck, it's not that you're up to something. And God is reminding us also, God, that you want to take out nothing and make something out of it. God, we ask you, Lord, that right now, God, that on today that your word can fall on their ears. But God, that it fall on the front of God. God, we don't put this up for life. And God, because then you wake up tomorrow and know that today is a better day. Yeah. 
God, we ask you, Lord, that you continue to bless this church, God. And 152 years is a long time, God. And we ask you, Lord, that you just continue to bless them, God. So that they continue to be a beacon and light unto this community. Yes. For me and woman, boy, and girl, can come to the house of God and worship and praise your name. Yes. God, thank you, God, for the pastor. God, thank you for his wife. God, and his family. God, continue, God, to keep your seal of approval upon them. Continue to keep your angels jammed up and kept around them as they go about their daily life. And God, we ask you, Lord, that as we get ready to dismiss from this place, but in your presence, that you would go with us, God. Lord, bless the food that's been prepared in the back. God, Lord, take out any impurities. Bless the hands that prepared it. Lord, may be nourished and digest with your own bodies. And now, Lord God, as we dismiss from this place, but in your presence, we ask you, Lord, that you go with us. Keep your angels jammed up in the camp of the Until we meet again at the appropriate place at the appropriate time, let us all sing together. How you doing? God bless you all. God bless you. Hello. You you good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. When I seen you coming, I said, I go my YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all let, right. Let me get okay, you're the pastor, right? right? Okay. Let, let me just get your name. My name is Arthur Cloud. Okay, in the name of your church. Uh, my Mariah Baptist Church, Garrison, awesome. Texas. Garrison, Texas. Yeah. This is the 152nd. Right, 152nd anniversary. Awesome. Yeah. God bless you. Oh, God bless you too. Glad you came. I enjoyed it. I'll All be right. back. I'll be back. God All right, bless you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. just give me your name and name. Amen. Of your Pastor Carlos Johnson, Pastor of Island Baptist Church in Chipson, Texas. Amen. Thank you. Always enjoy it. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> 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 <laughs>